this is a state of mind. If you if you like what you uh, see, and I know you're gonna just not only like today, it's amazing. You can hit the button right here. Boom. All right. Um, is that your subscribe thing? Yeah, like subscribe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You subscribe, and so today I have uh, back by popular demand. Uh, Dom, Dominic Zampronia, and Lisa Los Cicero, but I like to call her Lisa La Tatoshi. Because <laughs> you can't say my name. 15 years later, and you still can't say it. Well, it's he said not, my name for the very first time. It's not even that hard a name. I was on this thing. <laughs> and Dominic Zampratoi. Right? <laughs> Zampratutti. Um, Zampratutti. Zamboni. They're, they're back, and, and the, the, the reality is that He's back for the second time. She's back for the second time. She hasn't even been on. Lisa, you haven't even it's been on. It's not really popular demand. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, but, but, ship. it's his demand. <laughs> but it's my demand. It's like, just I, get over to my house right now. I was so enthralled with what you did that oh. that uh, just uh, you, you had to come back. All right. And then Dom, I keep telling Dom that he's so damn popular. Um, he's the third Stop. most third most popular state of mind. Have I been on the, the third longest? No, no, but it's my wife, my son, and then you, uh, and that, and and that's not the all reason. in the family. Yes, but that's not the reason that I started doing this uh, or anything. I mean, it helped to, you know, get views and whatnot. It's obvious it helped people with mental mental health and all that, and uh, that's why I have my uh, copy of your book. <laughs> my book that I bought it. I did buy it. Yeah, but did you I have bought the, the audio with the, with the? I got the audio. I want to hear you reading it. <clears throat> but did you see? This is the paperback. It's now now in paperback. Now, now in paperback. it says bestseller. 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 Okay, it's pretty that, amazing, man. It is. That amazing. is cool. It's yeah. pretty amazing. You got a bestselling book. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's that quite was, a thing. That was very difficult. It came out at a very difficult time, yes. and, and uh, you couldn't do proper promotions for it, right? No, I couldn't do no. proper promotions, but I still was forced to do promotions. On Zoom, even though I was uh, dying. Oh yeah. So, but it's also a really timely. Yes, yes. it was. Book. Yeah, yeah, it all worked right. out in that way. Yeah. But uh, I wish, I wish it all would have worked out. All I mean, we, we, you know, only only God tells us exactly how life's gonna go. But it would have been nice for me to go to New York and do yeah. the whole thing oh, yeah. and, and, sure. and and sign at the at the yeah. bookstores. Yes. Okay, I, I I have a feeling I'm gonna cry today. Oh sh! I can already hear your voice cracking. <clears throat> yeah, I got a, I got a little feeling I'm gonna cry. So what I want to want me to make you not cry? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with crying. I probably hey. stop you. From oh, crying. I forgot to say. No, I'm not saying there is anything wrong with crying. Just no, no, no I know it. that. And you know what? <clears throat> when someone starts to cry, here's a little tip I learned in shrink school. Don't ever hand them a Kleenex. You think you're being helpful, but what you're really saying is, Don't cry. I'm not comfortable stop with your, your tears. tears. Stop that right now. That's right. Here, it's like when a parent like, says to a kid, like, stop crying. It's like, why do you want them to stop, stop crying? crying? Let it out. In I, fact, don't them turn up in a ball. You're supposed to, when yeah. you cry, sit up straight. And let it I did a whole out. state of mind on... Uh, Kleenex. On, uh, <laughs> I said it's, it's, a, it's a crime to tell anybody to stop crying. Yes. Yeah. Because I watched this, this program on TV and the, and the woman was crying and the mother was like, don't cry. Stop crying. Why you or, or, but even, but even if you're being gentle and you think you're doing them a favor, you're going, oh, here, here, yeah. da, 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 da. it's like, it's like, it's let fine. that shit Tears out. are straight. Let it out. Let but it it's out. also, you know, like, y y you feel a responsibility. If someone's crying for you, maybe it's something you said, maybe it's something you did. Do you know what I mean? Well, so maybe feel it's free like, to apologize. Sure. If you did but I think, shitty, but I think you... there's another aspect of like, I take it to kids because my kids, you know, when they cry, I used to be like that. Don't, oh, come on, you're, you're fine. And you still have that. Yeah. From when you were a kid where you, you fell and someone, an adult came and said, ah, come on, get up. You're good. You're good. Without checking in to see if you're okay. Yeah. It's like, yeah. now yeah. it's like, if I do that to my kid, my wife just shoots me a dagger. She's like, you check, you check in check with in. them and see if they're actually okay or not. And then, then them, you, yeah. they are, then okay. Then That's right. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> since we're talking about kids, this is yeah, one I mean, of the things yeah. I want to talk about. Uh, what? What do your kids do? Well, I love our kids. They're the greatest and the best kids in the world. But what is it that they do that frustrates you? 
Yeah. First you, Lisa. Oh, dude, really? <laughs> I mean, my son's an adult, and 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 he's like proof that I'm not a total piece of what, because he's so he's so great. So there must be something okay in me if he came out so so great. My daughter gives me a run for my money. She she is a child for better or for worse. She doesn't give a shit to please other people, which is the heart with the kid. And you say like, I, I, well, you can try to bribe them, or you try you tell them, and, and they want to do what you want to do. She's like. Oh. And when you got that from a kid, like you've got no leverage. Mm. She love, but 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 she she's she but she, it's great in her way. And you want to not crush that, especially in a little girl. Yes, you want her to maintain that personal power of like. But she can't be like a wild animal out in the world either. That that you have to walk that line. When I was a kid, I was always being taught like that's not how ladies behave. You had to behave like a lady, and you had in it. It fucked me up in in a, in a lot of ways, but in a lot of ways it was also great, you know. But I, I'm trying to walk that line with her, where she maintains her her power and doesn't give so a shit to please she, anybody. But can also amazing. can also. I think maybe I I raised my son to not be a macho dick, yeah. So he's a little bit more a little bit more passive, and I think subconsciously I'm raising my daughter to not take shit from anybody, and that's what I'm getting. Yeah, Sub, yeah. it's subconscious, but I, I'm I'm trying to look at what I'm doing so I so so that she can be a good b balance of keeping that power, but also being able to 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 you know I get you. Su succeed in the world in some yeah. civilized fashion. I <laughs> forgot to say this, and this is what I want to say. This is state of mind un uncensored, where I, you know, lately people have been saying, you know, aside from the obvious. Of, helping people with mental illness and stuff. They love state of mind because they don't know what's coming from mm. one second to the next. And, and that's just cool, right? Mm. Well, today's going to be even double that with us. Because uh -oh. I don't no know pressure. what the... No pressure. This, this thing's going like a whole different way. And because okay. I had a whole thing, but okay. Okay. I'm good with it. Back to your daughter who you say doesn't... My problem... I just figured this out. Like... Today, almost, oh. or yesterday. Because things come to me, you know? Because I'm off, uh, in, I'll say it, I'm, a, I'm not a professional, I'm not a doctor, so we talk about medication, it's, it is what it is. Uh, I was on Lex Lexapro for a long time after what happened to me. Mm -hmm. And it saved, it literally, and I'm not joking, Dom knows you know, it saved my life, mm -hmm. okay? Because Lexapro didn't work. It wouldn't have been good. So, but I decided to go off it, and it's it, it, it you know ten day weaning process. Yeah, yeah. And I went off it, and it's amazing that I was going to go off it on a Thursday. That was the tenth day, and every morning I'm still feeling a little thing, but it goes away after like a half hour. So whatever. So come Thursday when I'm not taking it anymore. I wake up. It fucking felt like God was put his hand on me, man. Wow. I was so calm. Clear. But yeah. you said this to me the other day when you came into work. I did, yeah. And I I don't understand. I, I feel like was didn't taking it give you that feeling initially or no? It gave me the feeling. <clears throat> I don't know. A better feeling of uh, that I'm going to make it, right? right. Yeah, but it also oh shit. This is also gonna go to another thing. It also the the pills f messes with your testosterone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. now mm -hmm. that I'm off my pills, and we'll get into that a little later. Uh, it it, it, <laughs> you, you, Paul it wasn't God. You, Paul finds you very annoying again. <laughs> it wasn't that God put His hand on your head. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> your testosterone. Put His hand down here. He said you. <laughs> Welcome home, my child. We're back in That's business. It. We're back in business, my son. <laughs> and, what, and what also it does without the pills, but I'm going to get back to your daughter because that was a cool thing, <clears throat> is that I I, I don't, uh, I have my edge back. Mm. Okay. And when I say I have my edge back, it's, I was talking to well, my mom to, this morning. She goes, what, do you, what does that mean? I said, well, I'm not a, like, it, I, and, and I'm not trying to be like, I'm going to kick somebody's ass, 
but it feels like I want to kick somebody's ass at, like all the time. That feeling. Yeah, of you end. got like your mojo back. Right? Yeah, like the way I used well, to be in libido, high school. Well, libido, and the word is libido, which people think only means your sex drive, but right. it doesn't. It's like a life force thing. You're, so you have mm. a bit of a life force, generative life force back. Right. And it, it, it expresses itself in you in a sort of maybe fighty way. Yes, it, yeah. <laughs> yes, right? But, but, but is, one thing that I learned yeah. because of what you just said uh -huh. with your daughter I'm, I think I'm getting to the point where, because I've been working hard on this and it's been the, I, I just not good at it. I care too much what people think. That's everybody, yeah. But like you, that's not you, a good you, thing. Do you not think, well, it doesn't. Is this like a revelation? Like you didn't think you did before? No, I always kind of, I, I remember a long time ago, we were talking about uh, arrogant. Who's arrogant? Me and my buddy Danny Quinn, whose father was Anthony Quinn. Mm -hmm. We were best friends, and and, uh, and Paula was there, and Danny's like, "You're arrogant to me," mm -hmm. and uh, I said, "I don't know. I have ego, but not." And, he, and Paula goes, "No, Danny, you're arrogant because you don't care what people think. Maurice cares way too much what people mm -hmm. think." So that's been my thing, and when I'm fucked up and. Uh, anxiety mm -hmm. or depression or even manic a lot of it is I'm so scared of what people think and it messes with me a lot whereas now it feels like I don't care but isn't that why this is so important to me to, to yeah. you well to me it's it's important because I'm the same way as you like I care too much as yeah well. yeah yeah exactly. and I, I used to I made my whole thing when I was younger was that I didn't give a shit what other people thought, right. you know? Oh, when you were young? <clears throat> when I was young, because I truly didn't. Wow. And then something shifts where you kind of do at some point, or maybe you, you always truly did. truly didn't? You I, truly I, didn't as a kid. I had convinced myself that I didn't care, but maybe that's not, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not until you get older and more aware of things like, oh, wait, I, maybe I did I actually I feel like the later shit. one is more the honest, the the, yeah. the the realization that you did yeah. care, and then that that the next right. layer is then sort of shuffling off the the coil of of why you care, what you care about, and to what extent it's right. feed serving you, you know. Right, but but you, the whole thing about this that I've noticed that's great for people is that the whole thing of mental illness, of whatever your insecurities are, whatever the things that we've talked about, what you guys have talked about, in in your in your episodes and stuff, it's all. It's all stuff that is kind of shining a light on what, how much we care what other people think. I know. Well, and that we're all, in, the point you know, also I'm is that you. we're all in this together. And if everybody was on the same page, it's like, oh yeah, we're all terrified of what each other thinks of each other. That takes it down a lot of notches. Mm -hmm. When you're, everyone's aware that we're in this shit together. Yes, but. It's a big part of <clears throat> helping. Um, what I've, what I think I've come to the conclusion of in the last couple of days with this is I never felt that what thinking about what people think mm -hmm. how important that is with mental illness. I never brought that, but boy, if you can work on that, somebody said, somebody said, I put it down on my, my Instagram. The day you stop worrying about what people think is a day you hit leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have not until maybe now, and this is, I'm not bullshitting you. Today, yesterday, I, it came to me. Go, how good it felt not to care about what people think. So you, you feel like you dropped a big load of that instantaneously somehow just by the awareness of it. Is that what I'm hearing? You became that's aware cool. that that was that's what was cool. going in it, and yeah, yeah, that allowed cool. you to drop a big uh, that's cool. chunk yeah, of that. I'll take that. I like that. Why? Well, yeah. The awareness, just the awareness of, not caring about what you know for just a bit of it. Maybe it's not completely. I don't. Yeah, know. it's hard to let go. Well, I was gonna say to let go <laughs> of entirely. all of it in one chunk right. is would be pretty amazing. Yeah. But I mean, but but that's it's a process. It's a process. It's a process. And the awareness and I tell you is what, what starts it off. I'm gonna work my ass on this process because I think I will jump to another level once I truly don't care what people think. If that's all you manage to do in this lifetime, to, 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 to be free of, of, of that is, is pretty rare. But it's hard to be free of that when you have this going on with you know, 
because it, it, it co you know that all coincides the the thoughts when you're in the you know you're, um, and look at the business we're in and look at and the look culture at the, yeah. that we're part of. Um, I want to talk about what it what because it's something that I'm not proud of. I know I'm probably going to get emotional here, but. as a man and how important sex is to a man mm -hmm. which is fine and we're all brought up a certain way cultures mm -hmm. italian spanish Italian. but you're not a man uh, <laughs> but it could happen to the other way too right mm -hmm. a woman too uh my, i have to say that <laughs> Growing up, well, when I started having sex, I would get angry if the girl friend I was with didn't want to have sex. Mm -hmm. And I think that's now at 58 years old, I think it's so wrong. Mm -hmm. You did the best you could at the time, but I understand what you're saying. Look, it's not a, look, yeah. looking looking back at that and feeling some remorse for yeah, the person yeah. you were and the person that you were in contact with and yeah. what she may have been feeling at that time. Yeah. And women do feel that the, the flip side of that too. I can say from a, and and I'm speaking for myself only, but but definitely this would be my revelation on that. Like in the past, the amount of you get you're raised to be a, a, a lady, and you're raised to be um, not hurt anyone's feelings. And you, and you people don't necessarily realize it when they're raising their daughters to be ladies and not hurt anyone's feelings. And do it it makes it very difficult for you to say no to an angry male presence that's coming yeah, that's at you. Right. That's right. And you wind up having 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 sex, having having relations had, that that you would not yes. care to have. Yes. And it's not like not necessarily like oh, it was I was. Rape, I or or I was assaulted, whatever. And the, the worst thing as well is that, in a sense, you're assaulting yourself because you're allowing this thing. You're allowing That's this right, thing that you right. don't really want because That's you feel right. that angry energy coming at you. That's and right. that is something that that you're taking it from both. You're you're feeling it from the out, and you're feeling it from the inside, having betrayed yourself in uh, allowing this thing. And that is that is when we talk about my daughter. I don't want her to have no. that. I want her to be able. I mean, she's she's gonna. She'll take Harvey Weinstein's dick off before he gets out from behind the potted plant. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm with you. And I, th so that's a, that's a, that's beautifully said. What about you? Well, I've just I've had this discussion with my wife. You and I had this discussion years ago too, about, and it happens to this day because it's as 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 the man in in our in our, in our relationship. I'm always. I'm usually the one who's initiating that yeah. aspect, right? And I'm not saying that's every relationship. That just happens to be our relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what's that saying about um, women are scared? Men are be men are scared of being humiliated, and women are scared that they're going to be killed or something like that. Yeah, like I, their fear. I, yeah, ooh, yeah. Or it's actual. Like it's actual. Yeah. Yeah, yes. 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 Right. Yeah, yes. And and that's where it comes from. It's like. It took me a while to actually be able to say to her, "Is like, fuck, you know, like it, it, it feel like I'm." The reason this bubbles up sometimes is because you feel like you're really putting yourself out there, right? By admitting that you need you really want to, to have connect. sex with this woman, you know, and and it's like when she says no, it's like I know, I know. Fuck, like I feel like she stabbed stabbed your ego in the Yeah, heart. it's that saying always pops in my head. It's like, oh my god, like I feel almost like there's an element of humiliation to this and an element of like uh, of why not? You know, what what don't What's you wrong with want me? Yeah. about this? And it's Exactly. Fuck, we're so fucked up. It's I like know. there's nothing. It's just yeah. she's thinking about I'm tired. Yeah. She had a crazy day. <laughs> I know, or, dude. or yep. you know, there and it's where our minds go it's, that that yes. make it so much worse. Yes. And then, and talk about caring what other people think. That's the beginning. Like, as a kid, you like, when you lost your virginity, you felt like a fucking man. That was the first day I felt right. like a real man. I, when I had sex for the first time, I was like, 
I remember going to the mirror and looking at myself in the mirror and feeling like the shit, Can you know? I... And and that that was a powerful feeling. And it's like that. And you and you've always wanted that. Feeling. You always wanted that. And I that. want to corroborate yeah. that with you for, by science. There's like I can't remember the guy's name. He writes all the books about raising young men. They talks about how, how teenage boys start getting very quiet and not being verbally communicative with their mothers. And you you try and, and they say mm -hmm. they will clock a conversation between a, a an adolescent boy and the mother, and within three exchanges, she's basically cut his dick off. You know, like yeah. but uh, but uh, and then like, well, why don't you this and why don't you that? And you've made him yes. feel like not a man. Yes. The min and they say the minute that that boy has sexual intercourse and feels in his body that he is a man, he will start talking to that mother again because he feels confident like, you can't cut my dick off because I'm a man. Like, I got this now. Yeah. And then he's able to just like sit there and he's like, you can yeah, come at yeah, me with yeah. whatever you got, right, bitch. Yeah, like, yeah. I'll just, I'll sit here all day because <laughs> I I feel in my body that I have become this other thing. And then the, then the relationship between the mother and the son changes. I thought that was so fascinating when I read that. Mm. You it's know, just what you just said. I, uh, I was at the Changa uh, Casino in, where I live. And I was, I'll never forget, man. I was uh, waiting for pa Paula to come upstairs. And, you know, of course, I wanted to have sex. And she didn't, she came real late, right? So she's tired with us. And I said, same thing you were saying. Like, you, you feel like, how dare you say no to me, right? And she said no. And uh, I was I was a jerk. I was a motherfucker. And I'll never forget. She looked at me, and it was dark in the room. And she goes, "I can't do this anymore." And I I had chills, man, because I knew that enough was enough. She man, I'm fucking like the wheel, the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, you ain't fucking. I'm I'm out of here. If you, it's it, that's it. And that's what I felt. Yeah. Now I got better, but I didn't truly get better. And I'll tell you when I got better. During this period of the anxiety and Lexapro and all this and fucking my testosterone was dying. You know, It taught me a lesson, which is weird that that would, but I'm going to be honest, to where it was like, I, I, I didn't want to have sex. And it showed me what that's about. Right, Are Lisa? You, is what you're saying that you understood what she was coming from, the concept yes. of not wanting to have sex, like, oh, it would feel like this, and someone wants <laughs> no, to have no. sex with No, no, you're them. going... No, 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 no. no. Oh, oh, what are you saying? You're say I'm saying that... Oh yeah, kind of like that. Like yeah, you understood what yes. it would feel like to not want to have yes. sex, and someone wanting it from you, yes. and how unpleasant it would be to be like, "Oh God, I got to do this yes. thing that's supposed to be transformative. It's, it's supposed to be so wonderful, and supposed to be, and it's it feels like a, that I don't really do. taught me. And then yes. even further Amazing. than that, I would think, I would say to myself, "Why would you want?" Cause I'm, mm. I'm nothing, man. You see, that helped me. I don't know, and and I can't be specific on how it helped me, but it helped. It's helped me. Well, it's helped me this way. I don't have to have sex all the time. You know, I don't have sex at all because I'm here and she's over there, so I'm cool with it. Okay. And during this period. It wasn't like now, back my my. But the thing is, now my testosterone is back. <laughs> Rut row. But I hope I can. But you know, but you, you feel like you've. I've learned figured some, something out. Yeah, right. Maybe I so. when I was when I was uh, twenty twenty two twenty one, in the mental hospital. This is how it correlates to what we're talking about to mental illness. Uh, when I escaped the hospital. And in the hospital, I was, you know, whatever, tied down to a bed, the whole thing. And then I escaped, and then I got depressed badly. And when you're depressed, because I don't speak about depress depression that much, nothing feels good. 
nothing. So I remember seeing my ex-girlfriend and she was there and she said, uh, how you doing? I heard you had a nervous breakdown. I said, yeah. And she said, really? I said, yeah. She said, what? And she was so sweet, right? It happened with like two or three girls. And they'd be like, I said, you want to come over, you know, the house? And, and, they, and then, and then I couldn't, there was nothing. And it just so, and that Because makes you it, were depressed, there was no Yeah, and there. it makes it even worse now because now what I, what I feel is my identity, yeah. especially yeah. at yeah. the time. As a man, sure. yes. Yeah, so, you know, mm. it's not, so then, so that's. Then it gets the, worse. Yeah. So that's yeah. depression. Now, when you're manic, because this I've never talked about. When you're manic, it's the opposite. I'm sure. That's why sometimes people don't want right. to fix the problem. They don't want to fix this, it. This might be feel worse, worth this. Worth, yeah, Is exactly. worth that. My yeah. depression was so bad that this wasn't worth yeah, it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, other people can, they, they don't have that much depression. Like, I'll stay up here. Because when you're doing anything, when, when you're having sex or anything, when you're manic, it's like three times the better feeling. Yes. Woo! Hi. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that court. But jeez, man. You know the, the the thing I think, which is great that you just that you've said is is that you figured it out that was not that you don't like the, that element of yourself. And I think it's important for people to to realize that that there is no if we could get out of our heads about those moments. Between our yeah in yes. our relationships yes it would fix so many fucking things man yes. like I told you years ago like my wife said to me she's like what about I remember this that. do you think makes me want to have sex with you that is the, <laughs> yeah. that his wife is like the Buddha I That's mean like that, that if if, well, and if everyone like, would be able to say that to, and it says a lot about you that she was able to say that to you sure yeah. but but it was shocking to me it was shocking to me I'm like fuck yeah like. Why would you? Right, right. And then, even more recently, in recent years, she said something else. She's like, she's like, you know that it's not, it's not like a job and a duty of a wife to yeah, right to do this. And it's like men need to know that they yes. need to know yes that it doesn't matter if they turn you down. It's don't take it fucking personally. Yeah. It's not their job to make you. Make you feel, feel like that a, good, or right. to satisfy those urges. Like, yeah, w those are things that I think need to get out there. Yeah, right. Yes, that shit explicitly. Yes, should not fucking yeah. happen anymore. Yeah. And wherever we got it from, I don't know. It's well, not like I had a dad who was like, "This is you know." That's not the family I came up. It's just I know where I got I, it from, but I can't talk about it. <laughs> but it's weird, right? Like, what, what, where does that insecurity come from? Like it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, it and it's is. the root of so much, so much fucking pain and yeah. violence and yes. sadness, man. My buddy said to me, because this is in the, in the height of me having to do it eight times a week, you know. He said to me, "I said I can't fucking do it. I can't do it today. I was all crazy." And he says, "Dude, you have the keys to the kingdom." And I said, what are you talking about? All you got to do is be nice. Mm. But I couldn't do that. Like, I'm going to tell you a little thing here that happened just recently. Because I think this is important, too, how we get into this thing. You're going to know what I'm talking about. So I'm on the bed, and, and Joshua comes home. And he's like, Dad, we're going to do the, the scene. I got to do a scene with him for this thing. I got to do the scene, I said, this way. I said, no, we're not doing it that way. And I was make, messing with him, joking. Mm -hmm. And he goes, no, we are. And I said, Joshua, I want to do it. He goes, and then he leaves. And I know what's happening next. Mm -hmm. I know what's going on. So all of a sudden, Paula comes in. <laughs> and then Joshua comes in. He puts a fucking chair down. Like, he now he's my father. Okay, okay. Okay. He does this shit all the time. He's very smart. And I and I said, okay, go ahead, guys. What? Then Paul, honey, 
but why can't you just do it both ways? I'm like, because I don't want to do it both two times. I want to do it once. I know what I want. And then she's like, but that's not fair. I'm like, oh. So then, this is what happens in my household. They're, they're going to deny. No, then maybe they won't deny. I raise my voice a little bit. It's the end of the world, dude. Okay? Like, like I'm the, the devil, right? They're maybe hearkening back to a different time. I, you were less in control. Yes, I get you. But, I mean, at some point, so I said to Paula, ba, 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 ba. She goes, I can't do this anymore. So she gets <laughs> <laughs> And I said, holy moly, I have to be able to at least, I'm not shouting, I'm passionate. Right. I have to be able, I said, I think at this point, we have to be able to uh, yell or whatever, because otherwise I don't want to hold it in, right? So then Paul was like, well, honey, if you just, you know, said you were sorry, and, the, and I'm going like this. You know, in my mind, and then you get that little. Are you are you are you being honest? Like that you didn't do anything, or do you know? Yeah, I didn't, do you I, feel like you did something that you just. I are raised in a my place where at that moment where you just don't want to. I swear to you, I didn't. I, all I said, I raised my voice a little bit because, like, no, I don't want. You know, it yeah. wasn't a. But she, she, because she's okay. So she goes, I'm stressed. I do everything, this and this and that, and then I'm sitting there like this, and then my father goes, Dad. I mean, she could be an example. <laughs> oh, that shut you right down. Uh, no. uh, but but, but Paul's, Paul's ability to take it to that more honest place, and, and from your perspective, your more honest place would have been like, I'm feeling uh, enraged right now in a way that, that maybe we should do this in a little while. Let me, let, yeah, me, okay. let me handle my emotions that I'm having right now before I say something toxic. Or maybe it might be the cheesy version, but, but some version of owning what No, but what yeah, the, the, the whole thing of let walking me. in, like what we try and say our kids is like, instead of screaming, t try and explain like the, your frustration of what is happening right in this moment. And you if know? you're too frustrated to whatever, then, yeah. then let me break, take responsibility for that, leave the room, get my shit out. And that's and the then, other, but right. that's a step, you know, it's like, it's well, my problem was, this is the way a man thinks. When Paula said, all you have to say, sorry, I'm stressed and this, and this, and that. What I do is, I think, okay, the old me would be just quiet. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying shit, right? But the, the what I did is, I get it. But that that's, that's huge, though. It is big, but they don't take. To, but then to go Josh from was passive like, aggressive to, to I get honest you. owning. And I said, yeah. I get it. Even yeah. though inside I'm like, I kind of don't get it, but I'm going to say it because she, but she needs to hear I'm sorry. And then Joshua is like, yeah. Just say you're sorry. Mm. <laughs> it's a whole thing that happens with, with you know. Well, yeah, but if, if, if that's that's what I mean about steps. It's like the first thing is like figuring out, oh, okay, so in that moment, I got to. Be more honest with myself. Yeah, acknowledge and this. Yeah, acknowledge and then, them. And then like my wife was always said, okay, it's like first you, the whole moment passes and you didn't catch it and we talk about it afterwards and it's like next time maybe – Halfway through it, you catch it, yeah, or identify it and stop it, and then at the, at the beginning, or the next time maybe, yeah, you catch it before it, and then little by little, a habit is formed where you don't even get into that right. the hole yeah, is yeah, even yeah. in the sidewalk. But you know what else I take away from that is look at how your son is already learning the dynamics of these things, and he's and I mean, and that really is your job. You replicated your DNA, and oh, yeah. he's going to be a thousand times as my kids are. They're going to be yeah. a thousand times more more grounded and aware than we were growing up yeah and, and if completely. you haven't done that then you fucked up you 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 well, but that's a sign your... that, that, that like josh was actually developing that's what i'm saying no right which is yeah. cool because yeah, yeah yeah you know he's not the bully on the school no, the playground, no, no. You know totally. I mean? he's not the kid who's growing up to no be a jerk or something you like that. exactly you've you've yeah. you've passed on to him the next level and then very he has much to so. pass on the next level to his kids and eventually people won't have to worry about this shit Okay, I just, uh, today's conversation, you know, it's funny because when I do the, 
the state of mind. I don't, I don't really, at the end of it, I don't really remember what was said because it's just in the moment and boom, 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 boom. Um, but I will say that the, with Dom and Lisa, this conversation, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm sure it will. It was, I learned so much in this conversation. And I don't see these conversations very often. So I'm so glad that we were able to do it with class and not, at, you know, you know, and because. Well, you did it with class because you had a nice outfit. Well, right. because I, 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 that's why I wore this suit today. Yeah, I'm because wearing a denim dress and I cursed a lot. Thing. So mine was a little less on. classy. Mine was a little less classy. But I think it is important, especially for men to learn that, um, chill out. Yeah. Chill out, man. We don't. We, we we shouldn't be like that. That's not fair. And I and I believe if you want, we'll keep doing these us three. If you want, I have to see when you guys. Uh, most you know what I mean. Because uh, if you wanted to see us three, the, these likes. Because <laughs> get enough likes. <laughs> no, it would it would actually be views. Oh, views, sorry. Views. And not just that, just because I, 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 I read the comments a lot, and that's how I get, I see things that what's... What do people want to see? But if this is cool, and these two want to come back, we'll keep doing this like once a month as kind of a, a thing. Well, what I, if I could say something, I feel yeah. like what it, what it shows is that you've got three people here who are learning still. Yeah. About There's always another life. layer. Yeah. And, you know, I... It helps to do what we do for a living sometimes because you're putting you yourself to. in other people's yeah. shoes and and maybe it makes you a little and, and we feel a lot too like we're yeah. sensitive fucks which yeah. is, yes which is you know a hindrance as well sometimes but it also allows us to maybe take forces some, you to yeah. look at things yeah in a yeah, in a, yeah. In a, which in maybe some way. people who watch this maybe can show it to somebody who may might need to that's listen all yeah. the, all i've said it before and i'll say it again all this does not all but what this does is from what i i've gathered and it's just something because i think i've said it i don't know if i said it to you or you because i was thinking of maybe not doing it anymore you know when i was in the car i was like you know how long can i be in this car <laughs> talking to myself <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not doing that anymore. So no, but somebody wrote and said, "When I watch State of Mind, it makes me feel that I'm not alone." Mm -hmm. And then I said, "Damn, that's a that's not a big thing, but it is a big it thing. It's a big thing because they you you feel like somebody is saying what you're saying because you know, unfortunately, and that's the thing that saddens me." Is some of these people who are mentally ill, who get bullied or whatever, they have nobody. Mm -hmm. And I, can I tell you, that's some of the danger on social media. When a fan reaches out and I reach out back and you start having a communication back and forth, there is inherently to me a bit of a danger because you don't know who, you don't know the level of their mental health. You don't know how alone they might be. You don't know if you have just become, by saying hello, you might have just become their only lifeline, which is in a certain sense great, but that's such a fragile oh, and delicate tough. position. I might have just said hello to someone who's completely mentally ill and on a ledge, and the fact that tomorrow I didn't check my Twitter yeah, feed yeah. And, and, and respond back to them is a monumental. And, and I get and, and it. And that is, that is a very grave responsibility. I get it. That you I, have to be very careful with. I get a ton. And I get almost people who are on that ledge. I'm sure you do. Because it's like, your position. Now. But you always have to put out, I'm not a professional, and go to the mm. thing. And always, right. You, 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 one, one wrong word, you, you mess up. And then I'm in, you're in trouble. So I, I'm very careful. But it does hit my heart. All right. We're good. Thank you. State of mind. Uh, cannot wait to see this one. All right. Yeah.